Frank, paper. Go get the paper now. Frank! <sighs> Libby! Go get the paper for Daddy. It's cold outside. Yeah, and I don't have any shoes on. You want me to catch pneumonia? A dollar. Dollar. It's 25 feet, 30 seconds. You got a job I don't know about, pays 120 bucks an hour? 25 cents. I'm situated. 50 and I won't beat you. It's not a union negotiation, Jimmy. What's wrong with Frank? You had another fight with my father? No, canine Frank. There is no canine Frank. I vetoed that six months and 10 names ago. He's my dog. If I want to name him after your old man. Your dog? When's the last time you fed your dog? Took him to the vet? See, I knew it. You had Frank Clip, didn't you? Not yet. Calling him Frank isn't going to save him. Save him from what? Castration, honey. Your mother never met a male she didn't want to fix. You next. You're not snipping another one of my dogs, Heather. No breakfast? But you don't trust me to eat now? Uh, you're 16, I don't trust you, period. This is about the cell phone again, right? You said grounded from talking on it, not text messaging. You're supposed to count at 75, you know. I'll pass. Texting is a social lifeline in high school. I could have an emergency. Hey, which of these socks go better with the suit? Dark. You didn't have to shut it off. Well, then get a job, get it reconnected. Right away, Jimmy. I'll just start selling blowjobs this afternoon. Hey! Jimmy. Jimmy! Hey! You want to talk tough? Shovel the attitude? Fine. I deal with a lot worse every day, but do it with some class. I wasn't serious. Threatening prostitution to get what you want. I said I wasn't serious. You say stuff you don't mean all the time. I'm a politician. What the hell is that? They want to change the face of the waterfront. For the better. While destroying historical landmarks. It's a rusted out lighthouse. We're moving it. To where no one will see it. No one wants to see it. Get that whack job propaganda off your car. Free speech. Yeah, speech is free. Honda's are What, are you going to censor me now, too? You know, we move an outhouse, you care as much? You're just doing this to piss me off. But with some class, right? Frank, good boy. Frank. Frank, where are you going, you knucklehead? You have to hand it to the mayor. He's innovative. It's one way to break gridlock, right? Anyone can break gridlock if allowed to undermine and disregard representative government. Was well, that something new? This was more than the creative detainment of three city council members, Detective. Slow down, Rob. Before we go and set City Hall on fire, let's hear some facts. Well, there's nothing to hear, really. The ferry boat captain swears the engine trouble was real. And I believe the elevator repairman when he says the same thing. Attorney General, I sent your lunch with the newspaper publisher. Great, thanks, Lisa. And my favorite? The Transit Authority K-9 unit found actual trace explosive residue on Councilman Phillips' jacket. That's a nice detail. Maybe our Jimmy just got lucky, huh? The man's lucky every day. On this, he was just plain clever. Poor Councilman Phillips is a terrorist. So that's it? No investigation? I think that was his investigation. <sighs> I'm not arguing with the result. Grabowski was thinking he's J. Edgar Hoover. No offense. He's not my chief. I'm state police. Hey, poke around for a few more days, will you? So at least we can tell people we're looking into it. Yeah, if you show up on time tonight. Hey, I got a fundraiser in Bristol. I might be a little late. Every time you're a little late, we lose. What can I tell you? Get some skills. Uh, Unbelievable. Ya. I have to recess the Donato grand jury again until Friday. The mayor keeps publicly complaining that we won't give him a chance to testify on his former deputy's behalf. And when we give him the chance, he continues to cancel at the last minute. Yeah, I'll save you the suspense, prosecutor. The mayor's never going to testify. I don't care if it is his best friend. Send him a formal invite. He'll shut up. OK, I'll subpoena the mayor today. Morning, Ralph. How's that bunion? Better. Hey, thanks for that spare water heater. You really got to help me. I don't know nothing about that, Walt. Yeah, mayor. I cleared out the office yesterday. You can move your things in. I actually don't work here. Sure you do. I saw it on the news. What time does it get in? I thought the snot guzzler would have thrown me a bone for style. Around now. Did you see this? Fourth front page story in a row about an indictment that hasn't even happened yet. That was quite an ambush last night, Mayor. Exactly. My high wire political coup to fire that chief Grabowski gets buried on page six. I mean, what do I need? Clowns and midgets? I meant an ambush of me. What does Swap Yankee have to say for himself? Who? Porter, the owner of that rag. You didn't call the complaint already? Mayor. Kid, you're supposed to be one step ahead of me. I don't work for you. I didn't accept the job. 
Right, right. You just thought you'd use me as a stalking horse for the Washington gig, but you haven't closed that deal yet, have you? The counterattack. City Council's blocking the swearing in of our new chief pending a security check. Security check? Half of them go bass fishing with the guy. Cited a 1921 statute. Grabowski will have to stay on till then. Steve Nicastro, operation. I'll just rob an ass. How long? A week, maybe. No, give him two days. I don't think it's a negotiation. Everything's a negotiation. Grabowski wants a meeting. Yeah, and I want a mop of curly brown locks. I mean, yesterday, he's whizzing up my leg, dumping on my ink blotter. Now that he's irrelevant, now he wants to meet. It's not irrelevant just yet. If he's on the job for the next... Two days. Two days, he can cause a lot of damage from the inside. If you talk to him, let him think you're at least considering keeping him I home. knew I was smart hiring this kid. Stephanie! Tell that bag of pus my door is always open. Which bag of pus is that, sir? Grabowski! Do you have a hearing problem? I did not agree to work for you. Now you're starting to annoy me. Look, nobody twisted your arm. You butted your bread. Now you got to lie in it. Come on, Your Honor, I could wrap up his cross in two questions. The prosecution suggesting she try both sides of this case. I'll volunteer for the bailiff's job if it means getting to the Sonia Hernandez testimony today. The Post printed her name and neighborhood this morning. Her first name. And I'll do my job, if that's all right with you, Counselor. She's already received three threatening phone calls. Half the state wants Peter Collins off. We have procedure for a reason. Your witness will have to wait. Judge, could you at least issue a gag order on the newspaper? They wouldn't even care about vehicular manslaughter if Collins wasn't a retired baseball star. Not on information the reporter would discover outside this courtroom. Court in recess until 1 p.m. All-star. He's a former all-star. I bought my car at his dealership. If you convict him, is my warranty still good? Well, he claims his brakes didn't work. Why should yours? Oh, Mom, that guy knew he hit Jose and kept driving, dragging him. Mr. Hernandez, I'll have the sheriff take you home. Just wait one minute. You wanted the big media case. I said big. I didn't say anything about media. It's like politics without the money. And what is it about celebrity? The city police chief lets the guy drive drunk, and now the press won't let us prosecute him. You just talk her off the ledge. I'm on it. That sign wasn't even there when you parked. Just tell your dad. This is my dad. Well, Rhode Island may be the smallest state in the Union, but we're not the Vatican. And that Napoleonic mayor sure as hell isn't the Pope. I bet he'd wear that funny-looking hat if you thought to give him an edge. Well, surely a criminal infraction must accompany that kind of a stunt. We're looking into it. Well, perhaps something that would surpass the petty bribery charge you have against this crony. Mr. Porter, you know I can't comment on an ongoing grand jury investigation. Well, of course you can't. I'm not asking as a journalist. I simply seek your assurance that you'll be cutting off the head of this. We're story. looking into it. Then you have my confidence. There is something that I'd like to request of you, though. Naturally. Sonia Hernandez, the key witness in the uh, Peter Collins trial. You printed her name in the paper this morning. You'll have to take that up with my managing editor. Is that to spare you the discomfort of answering for it directly or to allow you to ignore it completely? After nearly a lifetime in New England media, I'm sure you can understand that I hold First Amendment rights dearly. Along with the selling of newspapers. General. May I suggest that someone with your gubernatorial ambition continue to foster a productive relationship with the press? With the temporary exception of the junkyard dog at City Hall, it has been historically difficult to ascend without it. Naturally. Although I'm fairly certain you're not the Pope either. Some more coffee, Mr. Grabowski? Chief, tell his lordship I'll give him five more minutes, then I got police business. Hey, and. What, no flowers? Why? You allergic to any? Secretary, I assure you, I am still very much available. That stunt you pulled last night, huh? Look, you I, get the vote. Don't blame I agree to a meeting, not a job. Sir, with respect, I disagree. I'm not associated with the man. I don't even know him. Secretary, you, you all but told me that. No, 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 I. I... Yes. I'm sorry, too. We agreed to disagree. 